Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about something surprisingly controversial, but just hear me out. By all means, I'm not just some fucking blind soul Benji fanboy who's mad that his overlord did get criticized on the internet. I mean, yes, I do like his personality a bit, but I do have my own problems with him that's really just personal, but yeah, that's besides the point. Uh, what I really want to do here, it's not necessarily about him. It's mostly just about what he's saying about gathering in the non-lethal zones. And in my opinion, I kind of agree with him. And I don't think a lot of people realize the really nice silver potential you can get there. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how making money there works, its overall potential for money making, and how actually good it is for beginner players as a silver making activity. That's first of all, I just want to clarify that for gathering in non-lethal zones, to actually make a profit, you have to be in the steps region. So if you don't live there, absolute skill issue. Imagine not living in Bridgewatch. The main gathering resource of the steps is hide. Not necessarily the most expensive material in the world. However, it can also be gathered in bulk. A lot of the stags like to spawn within groups. Stags drop hide, by the way. <laughs> stags also have a chance to drop baby stags, which can go over 60 to 70k silver on the market. If you kill a bunch of stags in bulk, you can easily get yourself at least one stag per hour. And with premium, you can get a much higher chance of getting two per hour, which on top of the high could get you somewhere around 150 to 200k silver per hour with premium, a 200k being the max. You may also get gathering tomes, and those go for around 100k silver on the marketplace, I think. However, they I've heard that they're pretty rare, so... I don't really want to add that one up, but hey, maybe if you have premium, uh, the chances get a little higher. Since we're in non-lethal zones, investing in our armor and whatnot is an option. The more stuff you invest in, the faster you begin to gather and kill stags. And the faster you go, the more stags you skin per hour, increasing the chances of more baby stags and gathering stones, which means more money. It's also very consistent on how much you get, like... Like, it's pretty consistent on how much you get per hour. In comparison to other activities, you could also get more gathering fame for skinning, which is overall pretty nice. There's not much else to say for the potential, so let's just get into why it's pretty good for beginners. On account of the 3-day premium, I'd say skinning would be pretty amazing for beginners, since you can easily get around 200k, 100k with this method, and 100k and 200k is a lot of money for beginners because like a lot of the activities in Albion Online cost a lot of money like I mean not really a lot of lot of money but you do need some money and 200k or 100k is a lot of money for beginners and you know if you just put in a bit more time you can make a little bit more than that and just jumpstart yourself into doing one of the more uh other activities you want to do and it's in the blue and yellow zone and not a lot of people gather in the blue or yellow zone so it's free for you to use you can make a lot of money this way, and yeah, it's pretty solid. It may sound like a lot of time, however, and it does sound really boring. However, it is skinning isn't necessarily the most attention-demanding activity in Albion, unless if you're in the lethal zones, because then you could get killed and, you know, you'll die. But if you're in, like, the blue zone, you could literally just open up, like, a fucking anime or movie on your phone and just passively gather. Like, it's not very... It's not really that, like, attention to men, which is neat. Now, I'm not saying that non-lethal zone skinning is the best activity to do in Albion Online. I'm just saying that there's some nice value to be found there. I mean, hey, 200k silver or even more per hour, you can make a lot of money. I mean, it's not really premium potential. I mean, I guess it kind of is since it's consistent. Like, yeah, I guess. But then again, like, you can also make uh, silver using some inconsistent methods i don't know uh anyways thank y'all for watching uh there's not really much else to say i mean uh gathering is gathering in the non-lethal zones is like pre it's like pretty solid in my opinion like it, it's not like the best activity in the world but you know it, it's solid for beginners and whatnot i mean hey you're you're literally in the blue zone slash yellow zone i mean hey why not so yeah uh, if you like the video uh, don't hesitate to like and subscribe. 
Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.